Hey YouTube, welcome back. Tonight we're making cast iron pan pizza. Say hello to the cast iron pan pizza, the ultimate solution to delicious homemade pizzas that anyone can master. Forget about store-bought crusts and bland toppings. With just a few simple ingredients in your cast iron skillet, you'll be whipping up gourmet-worthy pizzas in no time. First, we're gonna mix up our ingredients. We're gonna add three cups of flour, half a tablespoon of salt, half a tablespoon of sugar. We're gonna mix all that together with our KitchenAid. Once it's all mixed together well, we're gonna take a cup of warm water with a packet of yeast kind of stir all that together. Once it's all come together and it's nice and smooth, we're gonna add some olive oil to a pan and let it rest for a couple of hours. Let's start by sprinkling our cast iron with some olive oil and then take a chunk of our pizza dough and start rolling it out, kind of pushing it towards the edges. We got a little bit of dough left over, so make sure you stick around. I'll show you how to make some cheesy garlic bread to go with. For our pizza tonight, we're gonna to be creating one of my all time favorites, the bacon corn pizza. One you probably haven't heard of, but I promise you, the combination of the creamy white sauce, the sweet and spicy corn, combined with the savory and salty bacon, is just a one of a kind flavor. For our cheese tonight, we're gonna be using pepper jack cheese, grated into thick pieces. Prepare our corn, we're just gonna dump a can of sweet corn into a pan, and then I like to add a little bit of Creole seasoning on top just to give a little bit of that flavor. I like to cut my bacon into half strips and then do about eight to 10 pieces, and you're gonna fry it in your pan until your desired crispiness. To even kick the flavor up another notch, we're gonna make some garlic butter. So you're gonna take a couple cloves of garlic, add it with some butter, and melt it all together. We're gonna take our garlic butter, we're gonna spread it all over our pizza crust. You're gonna really wanna make sure you get all around the edges. Once your bacon's done, go ahead and chop it into uh, bacon bit sized pieces. Then we're gonna add some of our white sauce. You don't wanna use too much. I just like a little bit of sausage, kinda dollop it around and kinda spread it around. Now we're gonna put a layer of cheese. Then sprinkle our bacon bits. And then add some of our corn. And then finish it off with another layer of cheese. You're gonna bake it in your oven at 450 until golden brown, which is usually about 20 to 25 minutes. Look at that beautiful caramelized crust. That is exactly what we're looking for. Listen to that crunch as we slice it up. That is the most satisfying sound you'll ever hear. To bump the flavor up just a little bit more, we're gonna take some of Mike's hot honey and sprinkle it over the top. This is one spectacular looking pizza. You stuck around this far as promised, we're gonna make some garlic cheesy bread. We're gonna start the same way as we do with our pizza. We're gonna sprinkle a little bit of olive oil in our cast iron. Then we're gonna work our dough around until we fill the bottom of the pan. Using our garlic butter, we're going to coat the crust or coat the dough. And then make sure again, you gotta get around the edges and kinda get all around the crust. Now we're gonna add our cheese. Really wanna layer it on thick, because remember, this is our cheesy bread. Then to make it garlic, we're gonna take the rest of our garlic butter and kinda just sprinkle it all around on top of our cheese. Cook this the same as our pizza at about 450 for about 20 to 25 minutes. Look at that beautiful bubbling golden brown cheesy perfection. Slice as you desire, and we're gonna to top it again with some of our hot honey. Cheesy bread turned out great. Crispy crust, fluffy inside, and cheesy garlic outside. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Check out this video right here where I show you how to make an easy homemade stuffed crust pizza. See you in the next one.